another poet, one who has just published a brand new book, and it's called W-H-E-T, Lips, you know, Wet Lips. I get the feeling that this is because uh, this is just... Um, this is just to whet the appetite for the rest that is to come. Dale Hunnigan, good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Yes, and uh, welcome to NCU FM. When you hear the name Miss Lou, what, first of all, where are you from? Um, I was born in the States, I was born in the U.S., but I came to Jamaica at the age of six. So this has been home for me. So where, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Portland, in St. Elizabeth, and in Mandeville. Oh boy! <laughs> you, did, you, did a, you did a tour. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Uh, when you hear the name Miss Lou, what comes to mind? Well, uh, what I appreciate about Miss Lou is she encourages us to embrace what is ours. A lot of times we look at our culture as being, you know, sub to other cultures, and we're afraid to embrace our culture. But she she encourages us to embrace it because it is to be cherished and celebrated. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, you have been writing. Yes, sir. For how long? Um, my first poem was written in 2011. It was for an assignment here at NCU, and then I never stopped. I just kept at it. So it took an assignment to <laughs> get you to realize that you had this talent? Yeah. Well, actually, you know, I was writing before that, but I used to rap. Like in high school, I rapped a lot, and then college now, that's when the poetry side came in. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And since that time, you, you have done a lot because I, re I remember the day in on the Greens in Mandeville. Right, and you right. And you did that poem. And yes. I heard someone say the other day that was probably your first time performing. That was my publicly. first time ever performing a poem. Publicly. Yes. And it was so well received. Shortly after that, you went on to, to get some, well, recognition for those poems yes so that's when those. that's when before that people knew me only for music mm -hmm. but that day is when people started to see the poem well that's when the poetic side really came forth and i loved it so i stuck with it mm -hmm. uh where where did that take you well um it took me to writing a book i wrote a book i published it recently um, I was also invited on the TVJ and the RJR, and in selling the book, I was selling it across the island, and then I went to New York, I went to the Tri-State area this past summer, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, um, promoting and selling the book. Mm, wow. I saw you walking out into the sea, and uh, <laughs> the same boy is uh, um, taking a trip to Cuba. Um, <laughs> I don't know where these Never happened, right? come from. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I figured you'd turn back probably, you know, 20 feet out in the water. Yeah, yeah, but that was funny. Idea. That was, no, that was a funny promotion. That was a little clip on, on, on your Facebook page. Right. All right. You're going to be sharing one of your poems with us. Tell us about it. Well, um, that same performance that you made mention of is 2012 when Jamaica was celebrating 50 years. And so I was asked to perform at that function that was happening, and I wrote the poem for that function. <laughs> Looking at Jamaica as a 50-year-old woman. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. But I made a slight adjustment due to the time we're in now. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. So, I'm in love with an older woman who will soon be turning 60. Her name is Jamaica, and she always stays here with me. She's not flat like Cayman. My girl has mountain assets. And what can I say, man? My girl's children are the fastest. She's sweeter than the sweetest sugar cane. She's got a reggae style. She makes me the best coffee. And I love her banana smile. And she's the first girl that ever gave me a key. So I could come over and access her saltfish more easily. And I just love her children. But everybody has flaws, as everybody knows. She has acne. We call them potholes. And she can be violent. She has a bad and a mean side. An orange and a green side. A bounty killer and a bean side. But despite all of the bad, I'm so glad she stays with me. I'm in love with an older woman who will soon be turning 60. All right. <laughs> a, 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 a nice side and a mean side. <laughs> An orange side and a green side. So, I wonder if anybody missed that. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's, it's, it's about Jamaica. What can you say to other young poets who... I know sometimes we write, but then we just feel like, you know, our work might not be good enough or be acceptable or, you know, to put out. You know, what would you say to encourage them to to share the work? Well, um, everybody has an audience. You know, not everybody will appreciate every type of work, but there will be an audience for you out there. So it's just for you to get your work out there. Also, some of the things that persons go through, you'll be shocked to um, notice how many other persons are experiencing certain things that you are experiencing. So when you put your work or your life or your pain or your joy and in art, it resonates with people. So just perform as much as you can, share it with as much as you can, and you never know where it will take you. All right, while you're here, I'm seeing a copy of the book in your hand. Um, yes, where can one find this? Well, for now, you'd have to contact me. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. You can message me. Um, and wherever you are, I can get the book to you. All right. Contact me, Dale Honeygan. <laughs> okay. All right, so even if you're in Alaska... Even if I'll get it to you, I'll, get it to you. <laughs> I'll, find, a way. I'll find a You'll way. You'll find a way. Yes, sir. All right. Dale Hunnigan, thank you so much for sharing with us today. No problem. All right. Have a great day.